Batman Beyond is powerful enough to be able to lift upwards to 2,000 pounds or 900 kilograms. This is because the new Batsuit is lined with several sets of servo motors, otherwise electric-powered mechanical devices that line the suit. And when specifically applied to areas like the joints of the suit allow the user to lift way more weight than they ever dreamed. In this case, the servo motors apply enough torque or force to multiply the wearer's strength by a factor of 10. With the strength of this exosuit, the new Batman is able to shatter apart what appears to be a heavily irradiated ice. That could easily give someone severe radiation sickness, possibly eventually killing them in the weeks to come through mutating their cells and shutting down their organs. However, the suit contains radioactive filters or likely some sort of lining like lead or even a high-density polyethylene or type of plastic shielding Batman Beyond as he breaks out of a near 10 to 12 inch block of ice, exerting something like 30,000 pounds or over 13,500 kilograms of lifting force. However, the Beyond suit is likely much more powerful as when looking at an early prototype worn by Bruce Wayne, we see that this thing was able to puncture through a solid steel wall, causing what appears to be what may have been a three foot thick door to both ripple and flower apart. We know that steel has an average tensile strength of around 40,000 PSI, meaning that in this instance, the suit is exerting something along the lines of a lowball, 360,000 pounds or over 160,000 kilograms. Otherwise, enough force for our new Batman to accidentally tear off any thug's arms and rip them a new one. Beyond his absurd strength, this cybernetic exoskeleton of a suit and other versions allow Batman Beyond via jet-powered boots to fly fast enough to rival a futuristic version of the Bat Plane, which as a jet aircraft is likely capable of at least going as fast as the fastest aircraft ever made that hit Mach 9.6, or just over 11,800 kilometers or 7,366 miles per hour. Speed so fast that if exposed to it, your skin would peel right off, and the air friction alone would easily light you on fire to where you would melt. In Batman Beyond, case flying horizontally, this would also cause his blood to be forced to his feet in a process known as G-force induced blood pooling. He would quickly lose consciousness along with displacing, compressing, and damaging his organs, yet the suit makes all of this as easy as eating pie. So easy that Batman Beyond once flew fast enough to catch up to a group of intercontinental ballistic missiles or ICBMs during their mid-flight, with modern ICBMs reaching speeds of at around 20 4,000 kilometers or 15,000 miles per hour, otherwise hitting Mach 20, potentially heating him up to 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit or near 2,000 degrees Celsius. The retractable wings of the suit allow Batman to not only quickly maneuver around sharp city corners at high speeds, but he can also use them to cut through steel swords, villains, and not to mention the wings of his suit can regenerate, which leads us to believe that the suit has integrated a sort of nanomaterial in its structure that repairs said wings, if not being capable of repairing the entire suit itself, which likely helps to aid the fact that the suit is bulletproof, easily taking shots from low caliber pistols to more intermediate caliber assault rifles, and is said to be able to be possibly damaged by higher caliber weapons like that of a minigun or tank fire. Although this thing seems to easily handle large building crumpling explosions, shrugs off a Bane style backbreak, and getting hit from a speedster, who for a fun estimate, based off of other videos, we can say is traveling at something like 500 miles or 800 kilometers an hour, who would then be striking Batman with his steel rod with enough force to easily fracture his bones into a fine powder and take off large chunks of him with each swing, yet he's fine. And the suit has even survived, having all the explosives in the belt going off at the same time, and these things can take down entire buildings. The Beyond suit that Terry wears seems to incorporate every type of gadget and safety precaution that Bruce created over his decades of experience into one neat package. As removing the fireproof cape, the entire suit itself is so heat resistant that it can easily take a futuristic flamethrower that was able to melt through a large stone statue, which if it's made out of marble, would have to reach temperatures of over 1100 degrees Celsius or 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. The suit also allows him to breathe underwater, is resistant to being electrocuted, laser fire 
that blows up buildings is just inconvenient, and Batman Beyond has claws that he can extend to rip through nearly any metal and climb walls. But perhaps more interestingly is the suit also gives him many other abilities like enhanced hearing. You see, normally humans can only hear or understand spoken language for a max average distance of 180 meters or 590 feet. Yet Batman Beyond's suit lets him hear even whispered conversations going on around him up to something like a couple thousand feet or thousand meters away. The fingertips of the suit let him hear conversations going on through walls and along with some other really cool holographic features, even more magnetic shields, sleeping gas, finger lasers, and my god, literally any sort of spy invention you could possibly think of. From ankle buzz saws to welding tools to tweezers, the suit has a built-in adaptive camouflage that lets him practically turn invisible, which may involve a combination of light bending materials, also known as meta materials. Materials that are artificially engineered or structured on the nano scale to negatively refract or simply aid in bending light around him, making him appear invisible in almost any light spectrum. Yet the technology or meta materials that Batman uses are still not able to refract strong UV light, and possibly the most powerful and dangerous addition to the suit at one point was the integration of an advanced AI, an AI capable of seeing and instantly responding to any attack, swiftly following out any directive no matter the cost, giving him an adrenaline boost when unconscious, and eventually the AI is given such a strong self-preservation system that even when the user is suffering from multiple broken bones, vertebrae, and exhaustion, the AI will not allow them to stop fighting, removing pain through the use of some powerful and dangerous opioid drugs like morphine or fentanyl, coming up with extreme tactics to counter any opponent on the fly, even at times taking over if it feels its user is losing, outright analyzing and pummeling anyone caught in its sights even if it has to kill them. But as powerful as Batman Beyond is, he does have a major weakness to watch out for. Similar to my weakness of wanting to just fling science terms and numbers out for everything I mention in these videos, which would make these things way longer. Terry McGinnis, being the new Batman, isn't nearly as skilled as Bruce is in practically every way you can think of, and sometimes the gap between them is rather apparent, as Terry is the least skilled fighter in the Bat family, and he's not used to having to figure out things on his own, which can cause him to be outsmarted or outmatched at times if he doesn't have Bruce Wayne constantly talking to him in his ear, which he does and relies heavily on. Yet the series more or less ends before we see Terry truly grow into the role on his own, or a sweet process of neurons connecting when you sleep after new experiences called learning. But if none of this was very interesting, then I saved an interesting fact for last. The Batman Beyond suit, while being many years old, is still a technological marvel for its time. That can be easily folded up like a shirt, and it perfectly conforms to fit its user's body. But if you want to compare the Batman to each other, then we go over Batman's feats and abilities in this video. See you in the next one.